So uh, we were talking about in the preview. Oh, so as, as soon as this part starts right here, there's going to be two guys are going to run around the corner, and you don't really have a chance to get to cover. So you have to kill them quickly. Oh. <laughs> Use your teammates' Use that powers. crazy ball effect. Stay behind them if you can. Like, I, I just thought of this right now, but maybe, like, um, aim at the bottom of the stairs and then press up on the D-pad to... Uh, make them run there, which I would assume walks over that invisible trip line that activates them. And now, uh, we're going to be fighting a ton of these Krogan Berserkers. So do they have armor or shield they or have shields. special pantaloons? They have shields and they have a shitload of health, so... And they don't come all at once, they come kind of staggered. So, what I found as the best strategy for this is usually one good headshot from the sniper rifle will take out their armor and then you can use fish sticks to lift them when their armor is down and this is kind of a weird area there's like a lot of um, like gaps mm -hmm. there's like two long platforms that you can walk across and usually when fish sticks lift them they get dropped right in the pit. Oh, nice. Now, the only shitty part about that is is that when they die, they drop ammo. Mm -hmm. so, so you miss out. You're probably going to miss out on some ammo. But by far, the easiest way to kill these guys is by just using... You're probably saving ammo by not wasting it and having fish sticks take That is one. very true, actually. Um, Do you melee a lot? Or I, when they are melee, <laughs> when they are in the air, definitely. It, it does a pretty cool ragdoll effect if they're being lifted. And uh, Oh man, that's, 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 you should name your daughter Malie. Malie? <laughs> Spell it. Melee. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure any naming privileges will be removed uh, from me just by default. <laughs> if you have a kid. If, you know, especially a daughter. If whoever the unfortunate lady is. What if it's like a cryogenic chamber that has your kid? Uh, or a, I guess not a cryogenic, baby? yeah. A test tube baby? Uh, it won't have a belly button. That'll be weird. <laughs> really? I don't know. Why would you need one? Are you, are you born you in just, a tube. Are you just making things up? Well, that's a good point. Oh, I'm thinking I of like Brave New World. Which uh -oh. I should probably read again, now that I'm older. Uh, so this fucking Mass Effect wiki. Oh, throwing. tell, say what uh, Trisha Helfer's voice is. Oh yeah, she does Edie, the AI robot that controls Normandy too. So she's definitely getting typecast as robots. Yeah. And I didn't really recognize her voice. I don't know if it's just because it's too generic or there's some sort of robot effect post. Yeah. Post uh, recording effect that she did. Well, I, th I don't think it was her voice that was the uh, main draw. Of Trisha Helfer. No, those uh, voice recording guys just wanted to <laughs> get her in the recording booth. Yeah. Even though she probably didn't dress up for a voice recording session. Oh, man. So, I'll, I'll surprise you didn't sing the Berserker song oh, from Clerks. Would, would you like to suck my <laughs> cock? Berserker! My love for you is like a truck. Oh, it's like a rock. A rock. <laughs> would you like to make some fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Clerks 1 in so long. Mm -hmm. I've been watching a lot of Clerks 2, you know, getting my, uh... <laughs> your, your porch monkey on? <laughs> yeah. My, uh, and my donkey show. Oh, yeah. So, right there, I accidentally <laughs> used... Uh, <laughs> my ass to mouth. <laughs> oh, maybe this isn't good. Dude, this game's rated M. You can say whatever the fuck you want. There's no... I'll save it for the podcast tonight. Oh. It's gonna be a question. Oh, the true de definition. Oh, I've got two questions for the podcast tonight. You got two questions? Yeah. For me? For the audience. Oh, like poll questions. Oh, okay. My, not that I'll remember by tonight. Yeah, I should probably write those down. That's why I have like a huge list of shit on every podcast because I can never remember. Okay, I'll write it down. So, you know, just slowly make your way forward. Don't run too far because there will still be a bunch of enemies and after you get to the end of this platform uh, just kind of run around and make sure you pick up all the ammo now I don't know if I had readdressed this issue yet we've been we, we, we need to do these voiceovers more consistently because I'm kind of losing track mentally of what we've talked about so uh, 
I don't think it's wrong to reiterate important shit. Uh, well, in one of the earlier videos, I talked about how the ammo system works, and I was wrong. Part, partly wrong. Yeah. And then I thought I had corrected myself. But you did. I remember. I, I did. You okay. talked about how you thought it was uh, to use cryo. You thought it was all going to be incendiary. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. How uh, picking up ammo works. Oh. So this is the first uh, collectible of the level, I believe. No, in the next video, you should talk about that. I don't remember you talking about picking up ammo. Oh. Just the difference between incendiary and cryo. Okay. How you're not going to be using incendiary the entire guide. Well, this is the first... Um, or right in this room, sitting on the ground, was the first upgrade of, the, of this uh, level, the sniper rifle damage. And you do not want to miss that, because sniper rifles are badass. Valuable. 